uh, Robert G. Hansen. I was AMS third class, structural mechanic, and I was a plane captain most of the time while I was in the Navy. When I was in high school, I, I knew I was not a candidate for higher education as far as college goes. So and with my draft number came up, I was, I was pretty sure I was going to go into the service somehow or other. And uh, I was always interested in aircraft and airplanes at a small airport in the next town over. And uh, when I was 15 or 16, I would go there and push planes around, pump gas in the planes, uh, wash down engines before they had their overhauls, and uh, got my first airplane ride in a Piper Vagabond two-seater, which you had a hand prop to start. So that got my interest. Uh, my uncle had been in the Navy for two years, and uh, because of that, I kind of thought I'd enjoy, enjoy the Navy. So I signed up before high school was over, and uh, they had a cash cache program, and uh, after high school in November is when I went in through New London, Connecticut was where I signed up. Uh, they sent me to uh, New Haven to, for the first fiscal, and then when I was ready to go in, went to uh, Whitehall Street in New York City, stayed there for a couple of days until they put us on the train and uh, shipped us off to Great Lakes. Got there early November. and. Uh, the training began. You lose all of your your freedom of doing what you want to. The, you know, the, still was living at home. My mom, my dad had died when I was very young, so my mom had to, to raise me and my, my brothers. So uh, she she was great. She took care of everything. You know, although we didn't weren't uh, well off, we always had Christmas presents and you know, well fed everything, but. Uh, kind of just took one day at a time as it went along and kind of expected, well, you're going into the military and uh, homesickness, of course, that's, that's the biggest thing that everybody misses being at home. But uh, there was no, no great shock to me, I, I think. You get to know your, your different guys, your friends, and you, know, you make, uh, make the best of it, go through school. Uh, Navy boot camp at that time was uh, kind of to tell the other guys that were going through the Army and Marine Corps uh, that was pretty much a, a joke about what we did. It was, it was fun. It was so easy. Like in the winter time, <clears throat> we, we didn't have to do any obstacle courses, nothing outside. We marched back and forth. We had some, we had a drill hall that we would do some marching and a few calisthenics and stuff. But, for me, that was that was a good thing because I was not not that athletic, <laughs> so I was, I was happy with that. It was quite a shock. Um, being from a small town in Connecticut, uh, you start to meet people from you know different parts of the country, different way they talked, different ideas. Um, but you get along and you get uh, you get equalized real quick by being in those barracks tight together, doing. Uh, Things that you got to do every day, and uh, no no walls between you, so you're you're all wide open. It's it's the equalizer. Then the training begins. They start uh, trying to get you to be military. Went through boot camp, pretty good. It was a Christmas company, so in December they we were allowed to go home for Christmas leave. So we did that, and of course we, being back home it was it was good. Mom was happy to have us and with the brothers and family and everything. But then after that week was over, I had to go back to boot camp, which was the, the tough part, leaving to go back to boot camp. But finished it up, and uh, because I had you know, been around the airplanes and stuff, they promised me that they, I would get aviation duty of some kind, which didn't always happen, but fortunately for me it did. Uh, after boot camp, I was sent to Memphis, Tennessee, and was in the uh, A schools, 